Uh, my name is Michelle Miller. I'm originally from Jordan, Montana, and I work for Cattermas Lee and Jackson here in Bismarck. And what's your job title? I am now a recruiter for KLJ. Tell us about your education. I went to the University of Mary, and I have my Bachelor's of Science in Business Administration and then my Master's in Business. So what do you do in your job? Well, I just got transitioned into the recruiter role, um, so it's posting jobs, reviewing candidates that apply for those jobs, working with hiring managers to see what their skill set is for the people that they're looking to hire, uh, career fairs, new employee orientation, um, assisting other HR employees in their jobs. How many hours do you normally work per week? 40, usually 40. Some of the other recruiters, they might work, work more, but I have you know, young kids, so 40 is typical for me. Do you take work home with you? Not typically, but if um, I need to set up an interview with someone that can't talk to me between 8 and 5, then I, you know, I'll call them at, from home or set something else up on the weekend. How would you describe the pace at which you work? Between medium to fast, it all depends on the day. Some days you got to work faster than others if, um, if you've got a job that needs to get filled. It's going to be pretty fast and try to get through it pre-screening and setting up interviews as fast as you can. So, How, Have you worked in other jobs like this? Yes. What did you do? Um, I was a graduate coach at the University of Mary and so I would recruit athletes for the track and field program and then I was an engineering recruiter at Applied Engineering. Why did you choose this career? I'm kind of a social bug and I like to promote things that I enjoy. So I enjoy working at KLJ. So it's fun for me to talk to people about the company um, and try to recruit them to come work for us. When did you decide on this career? When I was a graduate coach. What do you think it takes to be successful in this career field? I think you need to be um, social, you know, social and outgoing are kind of the same thing, but open-minded, a good listener, driven um, and kind of a people pleaser. Do you travel for your job? Somewhat. Um, not a lot. You know, if we have candidates in other offices, let's say Fargo-Moorhead, a lot of times um, the hiring managers in that office will take on the interview and then we might do sit on the phone with them, but we might go to career fairs and um, then, you know, possibly go to other offices, but not all the time. Do you work independently or on a team? And if you do work on a team, can you give some examples? I work on a team. HR is um, just, it's one big team. And we um, are, kind of, a lot of us are cross-trained. So if a person is out, then one of us can back them up and assist them you know, let's say with posting jobs, there's a few of us that know how to go in and post the jobs on websites. So one person's out, we'll go and help them or um, entering new employee information into our systems. There's a few of us that know how to do that, know the programs and so. And, um, do you have any advice for high school students who, if, who might be interested in human resources or in recruitment? I guess if you're looking and in going into this field, um, I would say internships, um, job shadowing. You know, at KLJ, sometimes we'll do job shadows with um, high school students that are interested in engineering. Maybe, you know, some companies might let you come in and job shadow their human resource department and if they have recruiters. Um, if you like to coach or, you know, be around um, students, I think it's, that might be a a trigger for you that you might be interested in something like this.